Consult your physician before beginning this or any exercise program. Any user of this exercise program assumes the risk of injury resulting from performing the exercises or utilizing any selected equipment. Extreme care must be taken in properly assembling and maintaining exercise equipment. Assembly instructions have been abbreviated herein and are not intended to replace printed assembly instructions. Carefully follow all printed assembly instructions as well as all printed safety instructions. The workout installations and advice presented are in no way a substitute for medical counseling. If at any time the user feels faint, lightheaded, or dizzy, or experiences pain or pressure of any kind, stop exercising immediately and consult your physician. The creators, producers, and distributors of this program disclaim any liability in connection with the exercises and advice herein. Welcome to the world of FlexiGym. Here's a brief message from the inventor of FlexiGym, Chris Power. I wanted to create a product that was easy to use and portable. The FlexiGym offers all of this and it really works. You will see results. I'm living proof. Your FlexiGym consists of two handles, three flexi springs, two foot straps, and a door anchor strap. Here is the correct way to assemble your FlexiGym. Place all three spring sections onto a table or the floor. Note, each spring section has a male and female threaded collar. To assist with the alignment of the two ends, the female end has a square peg in the center and the male end has a square alignment hole in the center. To make the FlexiGym hoop, you can make a one, two, or three spring hoop. First, match the male end of one spring to the female end of the same spring or another spring section. Insert the square alignment peg with the alignment hole and thread the male collar into the female collar until snug. Do not over tighten. Continue adding springs to desired hoop size. Note, only the male collar is designed to spin. The female collar is securely attached to the spring and includes arrows that point to the spinning male side. To make a FlexiGem trainer, place the three spring sections and two handles onto a table or the floor. Determine the resistance that is right for you by experimenting with the number of springs attached to each handle. For one spring, using the same connection method as used to make the hoop, connect the male connector on one spring to the female connector in the center position of one handle. Connect the female connector of the same spring to the male connector in the center position on the other handle. For two springs, using the same connection method, connect one spring to each of the two outside connector positions on the two handles. This leaves the center position without a spring. For three springs, using the same connection method, connect all three springs to the three connecting positions on the two handles. Door Anchor Use When using the door anchor, it is best to perform the exercises on the front side of the door, on the opposite side of the direction it opens, and also to make sure that the door is securely latched. Prior to using the door anchor on a door, always test to ensure that the spacing around the door is narrow enough to securely hold the door anchor so it cannot slip out. It is very important to make sure that no one opens the door while you are exercising with the door anchor. The stretch. Start and finish your daily exercise program with the following stretching routine. Back stretch. Bring your arms together out in front of you and clasp your hands together by interlocking your fingers. Lift your arms over your head with your palms facing up then reach up as high as you can. Hold for 30 seconds. Gently relax the pose. Upper back stretch. Bring one hand behind your lower back and grasp the wrist with the other hand. Gently pull down and across while maintaining level shoulders. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat for the other side. Chest stretch. Clasp your hands together behind you and interlock your fingers. Straighten your arms and pull your shoulders back and downward. 
Lift arms higher to increase the stretch. Hold for 30 seconds. Shoulder stretch. Bring one arm across your upper chest and gently pull the elbow towards the opposite shoulder using your other arm. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat for the other shoulder. Tricep stretch. Bring one arm down behind your head, touching your upper back. Use your other arm to apply gentle pressure to the elbow to maximize the stretch. Gently pull your elbow down behind your head. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat with the other arm. Hamstring stretch. Extend one leg out in front of you. Keeping that leg straight, focus on pulling your toes towards your shin. Bend forward from your waist until you feel a stretch to the back of your thigh. Your back should be straight and your upper body supported by your hands on your bent leg. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat for the other leg. Quadricep. Stand with your feet together. Bend one knee and bring the lower leg up behind your holding foot. Keep your knees together and your back and abdominals strong. Squeeze your hips slightly forward to increase the stretch. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat for the other leg. Inner thigh stretch. Stand with your legs wide apart. Slowly bend one knee while keeping your body facing forward and the other leg straight. Hold for 30 seconds and repeat for the other leg. The FlexiGym Hoop Cardiovascular and Weight Loss Program. For cardiovascular and or weight loss, for best results, a 20-minute sustained exercise is recommended. Beginners should do any one or all of the following exercises every other day. Exercise for no more than five minutes to start, slowly working up to the 20 minutes. You should stop exercises immediately if you feel short of breath or experience any pain. Intermediates should do the exercises every day for 15 to 20 minutes. Advanced should do them every day with a minimum of 20 minutes. Warning, make sure you have a minimum of six feet around you clear of objects and people. The hoop can extend a long distance when moving fast around your waist. Waist hooping. Connect all three springs together to form a hoop. Stand with feet shoulder width apart with knees slightly bent. Put the hoop around your waist. Grasp it with both hands and stretch it out in front of you. Swing it to one side while it is still stretched away from the body. Quickly throw it to the other side of your body. As the hoop fully extends to the other side of your body, swivel your hips in the opposite direction. Continue this motion as the hoop extends to one side of your body, then the other, each time swiveling your hips in the opposite direction. Lower leg hooping. Note. Wear exercise pants or sweats while doing knee hooping. Connect two springs together to form one hoop. Step through the hoop and bring it up to just below the knees. Stand with feet and knees together with knees slightly bent. Stretch the hoop in front of you and throw it to one side. As the hoop extends, thrust your knees forward without moving your feet. As the hoop extends again, quickly pull your knees back to the starting position. Continue this knee thrust and return motion. Arm hooping. Note, make sure you wear long sleeves or wristbands when performing this exercise. Make two single spring hoops, one for each arm. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and knees slightly bent. Place one small hoop around each wrist and spread your arms out to your sides at shoulder height without locking your elbow. Begin making small circles with both arms without bending your elbows or wrists. Increase the size of the circles until you are hooping. This exercise can also be done one arm at a time. Shadow boxing. Place the flexi gym around your back and under each arm. Grip the handles in the palm of your hand with your thumb looped inside the handle and the fingers over the top on the outside of the handle. While bouncing and moving in place, practice jabs and hooks with each arm. Work combinations and mix in ducking, bobbing, and weaving. The FlexiGym Trainer Exercise Program. 
The following exercise program is an outline for use in working with a FlexiGym trainer. Different people will have different strengths and may need to use more or less springs for each specific exercise. It is best to experiment with the FlexiGym the first time you perform each exercise. Start off with one spring. If this is too easy, increase the number of springs until you reach a resistance that is right for you. However, never strain or compromise your form by increasing the resistance too much. The abdominal muscle group can be exercised more frequently than our basic program. It may be included in addition to the other muscles groups on each workout day. Beginner program. For strength building, start with two muscle groups per day. Work out one day and take the following day off. Change to two other muscle groups. Continue this for a total of three workout days, then repeat. You should do two sets of eight reps per exercise. For toning, use the same program as strength building, but use less resistance and do three to four sets of 15 reps per exercise. Use one spring with a handle at both ends for all beginner exercises unless otherwise specified. Day one, chest and back. Chest. One arm chest fly works the chest and shoulders. Place the door anchor strap onto one of the handles and attach it to the side of a door at shoulder height. Make sure the door is closed securely. Facing away from the door, grip the free handle firmly with your arm extended at your side at shoulder height. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. Push the handle forward while maintaining the arm extended and keeping a slight bend in the elbow at all times. The arm should remain at shoulder height throughout the exercise. Continue pushing until you reach the furthest forward point possible. Pause briefly and slowly return to the starting position. You can increase the resistance by moving further away from the door. Chest press works the chest. Place the FlexiGem trainer in the middle of your back with the handles by your chest. Keep your shoulders back and your back straight. Have a slight bend in your knees. Press your arms slowly out in front of your chest, making sure you do not lock out your elbow or elbows, and keep the tension constant. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. Pause briefly in the extended position, then return to the beginning position. Back. The seated low row works mainly your back and your biceps. Put two springs together to create one long spring. Attach a handle at both ends. The door anchor strap is placed at the middle of the two springs and anchored at the bottom of the door. Start by sitting on the floor facing the door. You can increase the resistance by moving further away from the door, thus creating more spring tension. Bend your knees slightly and keep your back straight. Tighten your midsection to stabilize your body. Holding the handles out in front of you, pull your arms back toward your abdominals. Keep your arms tucked into your sides till your hands reach the side of your abdominal area. Pause briefly and slowly return to the beginning position. Upper back pull works the upper and middle back and shoulders. Stand with your feet hip width apart and knees slightly bent. Hold the FlexiGym trainer directly in front of you with a handle in each hand and your arms extended at just above the shoulder level with elbows slightly bent. While maintaining your arms at shoulder height, pull your arms apart until they are straight out to your side. Pause briefly and slowly return to the beginning position. Day two, arms and shoulders. Shoulders, two arm side raise works all the shoulder muscles. Two spring sections are put together to create one long spring with handles at both ends. Attach the door anchor strap to the middle section of the springs. Place the door anchor at the bottom of the door. Make sure the door is closed securely. Place feet shoulder width apart with one slightly in front of you, the other for stability. Have a slight bend in the knees with back straight and buttocks extended slightly. Keeping your arms straight with a slight bend in the elbows, simultaneously pull both handles to the up and out to your sides. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. 
pause briefly and return to starting position. Upright rows. Works the front shoulder muscles. Use the same Flexi Gym Trainer configuration as the two arm side raise. Start by facing the door. Have your arms pointed down, slightly bent and directly in front of you. Place your feet shoulder width apart. Slight bend in the knees, back straight and buttocks extended slightly. Use an overhand grip with one handle in each hand. Pull handles up, bending elbows outward with handles in line with your torso until your elbows are at shoulder height. Pause briefly and return to starting position. Standing bicep curl works only the bicep. Place the foot strap on one handle and place securely around foot. Grip the other handle with your palm upward and one arm extended down. Stand perfectly straight. Avoid leaning backwards during this exercise. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. Start with your arm a couple of inches from your torso and slightly forward. Keep your wrist straight throughout the movement. Move your hand upward toward your shoulder, bending only your elbow through the full range of motion. Pause briefly and return to starting position. Kneeling tricep pull down works the triceps. Put the door jam strap onto one of the handles and then securely attach it to the top of the door. Kneel on a mat or carpet to protect your knees. Facing the door, grip the handle firmly with both hands, palms facing down at chest height with your elbows tucked into the sides of your body. You can increase the resistance by moving further away from the door, thus creating more spring tension. Begin to pull the handle down, bending at your waist only, so that your forearms go down toward the floor without moving your elbows away from your body. Continue pulling down until your arms are extended without locking out your elbow. Pause briefly and return slowly to starting position. Day three, abs and legs. Legs. The leg adductor inside thigh area works the inner thigh muscles. Attach the door anchor strap to a handle and place at the bottom of a door. Use a chair for balance. Stand perpendicular to the door and place the foot strap onto the inside closest to the door ankle. Slowly extend inside leg away from the door, crossing in front of the other leg. Keep knees bent slightly. Continue pulling until you reach the furthest point possible without straining to maintain form. Briefly pause and return to starting position. You can increase the resistance by moving further away from the door. Leg abductor outside thigh works the outer thigh muscle. Same configuration as the inside thigh area, except you put the foot strap onto the outside ankle. Slowly extend outside leg away from door. Keep knees slightly bent. Continue pulling until you reach the furthest point possible without straining to maintain form. Briefly pause and return to starting position. Abs. Kneeling crunch works the stomach muscles. Attach the door anchor strap to one handle and place at the top of the door. Close door securely. Kneel down on a mat, towel, or carpet to protect the knees. Grip the other handle firmly with both hands above your head. Maintain this hand position at all times during the movement. Begin pulling your torso forward, bending at the midsection. Continue movement until you reach the furthest point possible and you can feel the tension in your abdominal area. Pause briefly and return to the starting position. Pelvic lift works the glutes or buttocks. Lie flat on the floor on a mat or carpet facing up. Your head and neck should be flat and supported. Bend both knees so they are nearly vertical pointing toward the ceiling and your feet flat on the floor. Place the flexi gym across your midsection and grip the handles with both hands at the sides of your body. Keep the handles on the floor and near to your hips. Lift your pelvis slowly and at the same time push down on the handles to maintain resistance as you push up with your hips. Raise your hips parallel to the floor as far as you can, keeping your upper back on the floor. Pause briefly and return to starting position. 
Work the program every other day and repeat weekly. Intermediate program. For strength building, start with three muscle groups the first day, then three different muscle groups the second day, rest the third day, and then repeat. You should do three sets of 10 reps per exercise. For toning, use the same program as strength building, but use less resistance and do four to five sets of 20 reps per exercise. Day one, back, arms, and legs. Back. The seated low row works mainly your back and your biceps. Put two springs together to create one long spring with a handle at both ends. The door anchor strap is placed at the middle of the two springs and placed at the bottom of the door. Start by sitting on the floor facing the door. You can increase the resistance by moving further away from the door, thus creating more spring tension. Bend your knees slightly and keep your back straight. Tighten your midsection to stabilize your body. Holding the handles out in front of you, pull your arms back toward your abdominals. Keep your arms tucked into your sides till your hands reach the side of the abdominal area. Pause briefly and slowly return to the beginning position. Upper back pull. Works the upper and middle back and shoulders. Use the same configuration as seated mid row. Stand with your feet hip width apart and slightly bend your knees. Hold the flexi gem directly in front of you with arms extended at just above shoulder level. Pull your arms straight out to your side and staying at the shoulder level. Pause briefly and slowly return to the beginning position. Standing mid-row works upper back and biceps. Use the same configuration as seated mid-row. Your feet should be comfortably spaced about 12 inches apart with one foot slightly in front of the other for stability. Bend your knees slightly, grip the handles in each hand firmly. Begin to pull your arms backwards, bending your elbows with your arms tucked into your sides. Continue pulling until your hands reach your abdominal area. Pause briefly and slowly return to the starting position. Arms. Kneeling tricep pull down works the triceps. Attach the door anchor strap onto one of the handles, then securely attach to the top of the door. Kneel on a mat or carpet to protect the knees. Facing the door, grip the handle firmly with both hands at about chest height, with your elbows tucked into the sides of your body. You can increase the resistance by moving further away from the door, thus creating more spring tension. Begin to pull the handles down, extending your elbow joints so that your forearms go down toward the floor without moving your elbows away from your body. Continue pulling down until your arms are nearly extended without locking out your elbows. Pause briefly and turn slowly to starting position. Standing bicep curl works only the bicep. Place the foot strap on one handle and place securely around foot. Grip the other handle with your palm upward and arm extended down. Stand perfectly straight. Avoid leaning backwards during the exercise. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. Start with your arm a couple of inches from your torso and slightly forward. Keep your wrist straight throughout the movement. Move your hand upward toward your shoulder, bending only your elbow through the full range of motion. Pause briefly and return to starting position. Reverse forearm lift works the forearm muscles. Place your feet shoulder width apart, one slightly in front of the other for stability. Place the foot strap on one handle and place your rear foot securely into the foot strap. Grip the other handle firmly with your palm facing downward. Move only your forearms below the elbow, pull upwards as far as you can. Pause briefly and return slowly to the starting position. Legs. Leg adductor inside thigh area works the inner thigh muscles. Place door jam strap to handle and place at bottom of door. Use a chair for balance. Stand perpendicular to the door and place foot strap on the inside closest to door ankle. Slowly extend inside leg away from the door, crossing in front of the other leg. Keep knees bent slightly. Continue pulling until you reach the farthest point possible without straining to maintain form. Briefly pause and return to starting position. Complete sets and repeat using other leg. Leg abductor, outside thigh, works the outer thigh muscles. 
Same configuration as the inside thigh area, except you put the foot strap onto the outside ankle. Slowly extend outside leg away from the door. Keep knees slightly bent. Continue pulling until you reach the farthest point possible without straining to maintain form. Briefly pause and return to starting position. Complete sets and repeat with other leg. Standing hip extension, rear leg lift. Works the hips, hamstring, and buttocks muscles. Same configuration as the other leg exercises. Facing the door, place the foot strap on one leg. Hold onto the back of a chair in front of you for stability. Slowly extend your leg behind you and away from the door as far as you can without straining to maintain form. Keep your leg straight with only a slight bend in the knee. Pause briefly and return slowly to starting position. Compete sets and repeat with other leg. Day two, chest, shoulders, and abs. Chest. One arm chest fly works the chest and shoulders. Place the door jam strap onto one of the handles and attach to the side of the door at shoulder height. Make sure the door is closed securely. Facing away from the door, grip the handle firmly. You can increase the resistance by moving further away from the door. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. Begin to pull the handle forward, keeping a slight bend in the elbow at all times. Continue pulling until you reach the farthest forward point possible, and you can feel the tension in your chest area. Pause briefly and slowly return to starting position. Chest press works the chest. Place the flexigem in the middle of your back with the handles by your chest. Press arm slowly out in front of your chest, making sure you do not lock out your elbow or elbows, but leave a slight bend at this point. Keep your shoulders back and back straight. Have a slight bend in your knees. Pause briefly in the extended position, then return to the beginning position. External shoulder rotation. Works the upper shoulder muscles. The rotator cuff is critical for shoulder stability. Hold one spring at each end without handles. Place your upper arms and elbows tight to your torso and bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Without moving your elbows, externally rotate both forearms outward toward your sides. Pull as far as you can without straining to maintain form. Pause briefly and slowly return to starting position. Shoulders. Two arm side raise works all the shoulder muscles. Two spring sections are put together and attach the door jam strap to the middle of the springs. Place the door jam at the bottom of the door. Make sure the door is closed securely. Place feet shoulder width apart with one slightly in front of the other for stability. Have a slight bend in the knees with back straight and buttocks extended slightly. Keeping your arms straight with a slight bend in the elbows, simultaneously pull both handles up to your sides. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. Pause briefly and return to the starting position. Upright rows. Works the front shoulder muscles. Use the same configuration as the two arm side raise. Start by facing the door, arms pointed down and straight. Place feet shoulder width apart. Slight bend in the knees. Back straight and buttocks extended slightly. Pull handles upward, keeping elbows out and handles in line with your torso until your elbows are at shoulder height. Pause briefly and return to starting position. Forward shoulder raise works the back, top, and front shoulder muscles. Attach two springs together to create a long spring with a handle at each end. Place the door anchor strap in the middle of the springs and securely attach to the bottom of the door. Place feet shoulder width apart with one slightly in front of the other for stability. Face away from the door. Have a slight bend in the knees with back straight and buttocks slightly extended. Simultaneously, pull both handles up slowly in front of you, keeping your arms extended. Pull until your arms are level with your shoulders. Pause briefly and slowly return to starting position. Abs. Kneeling crunch works the stomach muscles. Place the door jam strap to one handle and place it at the top of the door. Close door securely. Kneel down on a mat, towel, or carpet to protect the knees. Grip the other handle firmly with both hands above your head, keeping this position at all times during the movement. Begin pulling your torso forward, bending at the midsection. Continue the movement until you reach the furthest point possible and you can feel the tension in your abdominal area. Pause briefly 
and return to the starting position. Pelvic tilt works the glutes or buttocks. Lie flat on the floor on a mat or carpet facing up. Your head and neck should be flat and supported. Bend both knees so they are nearly vertical, pointing toward the ceiling, and your feet flat on the floor. Place the flexi gym around your midsection and grip with both hands. Keep the handles on the floor near to your hips. Lift your pelvis slowly and at the same time push down on the handles to maintain resistance as you push up with your hips. Raise your hips parallel to the floor as far as you can, keeping your back on the floor. Pause briefly and return to starting position. Abdominal crunch and leg lift. Works abs and upper leg muscles. Put both foot straps onto one handle and put both feet into the straps. Hold the other handle with both hands. Lay flat on your back on a mat or carpet. Slowly lift your head and shoulders and at the same time raising your feet toward the ceiling with a slight bend in the knees. Pause briefly and return slowly to the starting position. After a day of rest, repeat days one and two. For the advanced, pick the body areas and exercises you wish to do from the intermediate program in strength building. You should do three to four body areas per day of four to six sets of ten reps each. For toning, use less resistance and double your sets and reps. Here are a few additional exercises to switch off or add on to the program. Abs, two-person lower back lift and abdominal crunch works the abs and lower back muscles. Face each other on floor mats or carpet, each holding one handle of the flexigen. Feet should be slightly wider than shoulder width and touching sole to sole. Start in an upright seated position and then slowly lower your bodies away from each other toward the floor. Less springs make the abdominals work harder and more springs make the lower back work harder. Pause briefly in the extended position and return slowly to the starting position. Side bend works for the obliques. Put one foot into the handle of the flexigen. Stand perfectly straight with feet about two feet apart. Grip the handle with a hand on the same side your foot is attached. Make sure the springs are taut. Keep your arm and shoulder down. Pull upward with your torso bending at the waist in the opposite direction. Your shoulders should remain square. Pause briefly and return slowly to the starting position. Repeat on the other side of the body. Back. Mid-back pull works the middle back, shoulders, and triceps. Stand with your feet hip-width apart and slightly bend your knees. Hold the flexigen directly in front of you at chest level. Pull your arms back and out to your sides until your hands are aligned with your shoulders. Pause briefly and return slowly to starting position. Arms. Overhead tricep extension works the triceps. Stand with feet about two feet apart, knees slightly bent and buttocks slightly extended. Grip the flexi gym with one hand behind your back at waist level. With your other hand, put your arm behind your head. Keep your lower arm steady. Pull with your upper arm straight up. Do not move the position of your elbow. Pause slightly and return slowly to starting position. Concentration curl works the biceps. Attach the door anchor strap onto one handle and securely attach it to the bottom of the door. Bend both knees in a comfortable wide stance. Support the arm you are exercising by placing your elbow onto your thigh just above the knee. Stabilize your torso by tightening your midsection. Begin to pull your arm upward toward your chest by bending only your elbow. Pull as far as you can without losing your form. Pause briefly and return slowly to starting position. Wrist curl works the wrist flexors and the finger flexors. Put the foot strap onto one handle and put on one foot. Your feet should be comfortably spaced about two feet apart with the attached foot slightly in front of the other. Grip the other handle with your palm facing upwards. Keeping your elbow close to your torso, bend your wrist downward and using an upward rotation, pull the wrist as high as you can. Pause briefly at the high point and return slowly to the starting position. Legs. Praying leg lift works the back upper thigh muscles. 
Attach the door anchor strap onto one handle and a foot strap onto the other. Attach the door anchor strap securely to the bottom of the door. A second way is to hold the handle in your hand. Put the foot strap on one foot. Facing the door, get on the mat or carpet with your elbows and knees on the floor and pull back the leg attached to the flexi-jet. The extended leg with a slight bend in the knee should lift up straight behind you towards the ceiling. Keep your body in alignment and perfectly straight. Pause briefly in the extended position and return slowly to the starting position. Standing calf extension works the calf muscles. Put the foot strap onto one handle and put on foot. Your feet should be completely spaced about two feet apart with the attached foot slightly in front. Grip the handles and make sure the springs are taut. Slowly lift your heels and extend your foot so you are pointing your toes downward. Pause briefly and return slowly to the starting position. If you need to, you can do this exercise sitting in a chair for balance. Extend the attached foot out and point your toes. Chest, two-arm chest fly, works the shoulders and chest muscles. Attach two springs together with a handle at each end. Place the door anchor straps in the middle of the springs and securely attach to the top of the door. Facing away from the door, grip the handles firmly. Stand shoulder width apart with one foot slightly in front of the other for stability. Pull the handles forward keeping a slight bend in the elbow and knees at all times. Continue pulling until you reach the furthest forward point possible and you can feel the tension in your chest area. Pause briefly and return slowly to starting position. 